we have a flat tire. If you look here, there's a big old honk and tear here. I elongated it slightly uh, so I can get more of my finger in here, but essentially um, there's a hole in the tube. So this has an inner tube inside of it, um, and there is a hole in it. Now I can't get the tire. I can't. I don't have the tools to get the lug nuts off to get the tire off. Um, so pretty much I am hooped uh, for this week. There's. I really wanted to bring some heavier stuff up onto the mountain, um, but I can't. Not for another week when I can get back here with an inner tube and the proper tools to take that off and obviously I need a new tire as well so the tires hooped the inner tubes hooped um, pretty much the rims the only thing savable so I need a new inner tube I have a I have a tire that's pretty decent that I'll still got some good tread so I'll probably just use that so all I got to do is buy an inner tube in the meantime I have some heavy stuff that I'd like to bring up here but I can't. So, what if we packed uh, the inside of this tire dirt, push it through the hole, fill up the inside and pack it in a little bit, see if that's enough to get us up and down the mountain one time. about one hour in. I'm gonna classify that good enough to go up and down the mountain one time and bring in the stuff that I want to bring in. Well, that was a fail, but we learned something, I think, and that is that even though the dirt could theoretically take the, the load uh, between the wheel's metal frame and the ground, the dirt could theoretically support that load. What it can't do, and because it, just because of physics, is it can't support the sidewall. So the sidewall on this tire is free to go all the way around like this. We 
saw that when we were driving and it went on a hill. The whole thing pushed this this way, which was no good. And that's because there's no uh, pressure from the inner tube pushing on the sidewall. So yes, you could theoretically fill your tire with dirt, and as long as it was going slow and didn't have much sidewall, or you were on flat terrain, uh, it would probably work, probably get you back. I just don't want to take the risk of losing my tire or breaking the bead off the tire uh, halfway down the mountain because there are some really nasty slopes. Um, I also don't want to get the tire caught on anything in here. So yes, you can hypothetically put dirt into a tire to get you back uh, from somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, but probably better to bring a tire patch kit or something along those lines.